What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews, my name is Aaron, and today we're going to be checking out the new single House of Mirrors by the band Arch Enemy. For those of you who don't know, Arch Enemy is a melodic death metal band from Sweden, they started around 1995, and they were originally formed as a super group making up the band from members of Carcass, Carnage, and Nevermore, and a few other bands, and in the year 2000, they had a vocalist named Angela Gasso, Gassau, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name. Up until around 2014, and now we have Alyssa White Glues, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, from 2014 to present. And they have 10 studio albums, but this song is just going to be its own standalone thing. Just like, I believe the last single, uh, Deceiver Deceiver, was its own standalone song. And House of Mirrors is like an 80s inspired tune with riffs that are very much familiar with early 2000s metalcore. It's something that the band's been working on for quite a while. It's got tons and tons of gallops in it. Alyssa said that she wrote the lyrics during the lockdown. And it's about being alone, but you're not really alone when you have your past and future self to keep you company, which is pretty dark if you think about it. Your past kind of being a reflection of like depression and your future self being a reflection of anxiety of what the future could possibly hold. At least that's how I take it. The song starts off with a harmonizing lick and a scream that's very reminiscent of 80s metal. Uh, the verse comes in heavy with a distorted guitar and distorted vocals. It has a very strong drum pattern as well. The pre-chorus has a really nice suspenseful buildup going into the chorus. That just sounds phenomenal. The main melody comes back in and the rhythm section gets rather stompy as everything opens up for the vocals to really shine through. The second time the chorus comes around, it has a little bit more presence to us and it's twice as long, so it gives us twice as much as what we want. And then the bridge breakdown thing that comes directly after is probably the best part on this entire song. It's just so heavy and dark sounding without it being try hard I guess you could say especially since it's kind of reminiscent of that metalcore kind of thing it's just a brutal chug fest and this is where unfortunately the vocals kind of lose me a little bit the vocal tone it just it just doesn't sound as good as the rest of the song and that's always been my issue with Arch Enemy is the vocals but ever since Alyssa took over I've been finding myself liking it a little bit more and more and more and I gotta say that this song is pushing me further into that direction. The guitar solo that comes after the bridge is quite redeeming as well. I'm not really a huge fan of solos and heavy metal, early 80s metal stuff, just because I'm so burnt out on it. But it was very well done, it sounds great. And this song finishes things off with the final chorus, and it sounds like a mirror is being shattered. This is a heck of a lot better than what I was expecting. Like I said, the vocals have grown on me a lot, and the music, is just absolute perfection. And they really nailed the 80s heavy metal and the early 2000s metalcore blend flawlessly, while at the same time making it sound fairly modern. My only gripe with House of Mirrors is the simplicity of the main riff. It just doesn't have a whole lot of dynamics to it. It's like they rely a little bit too much on the gallop, but at the same time, it is supposed to be early 80s which is like Iron Maiden kind of stuff of just the do 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 So I get if they're gonna have that kind of influence in the song, they can't venture too far away from it. And having a riff in the verse that's really simplified, it does make the chorus and the bridge and the guitar solo stand out quite a bit more. But at the same time, nothing really shines through until you get to the chorus and until you get to the bridge. So. It's kind of a hit or miss situation. If the riff had just a little bit more to it, I feel like I would have liked this song a lot more, but at the same time, I don't dislike this song whatsoever. I mean, even the solo was freaking great, and I think that has a lot to do with the simplicity coming out of the verses as well. It makes the dynamics of the solo sound really good, and you hunger for something a little bit more crazy and over the edge. If the riff in the verse was too much then you get to the solo and you're just it's like oh it's overwhelming it's like a sensory overload at that point so with all that said i gotta give house of mirrors by arch enemy a 4.1 out of 5. admittedly i'm not really arch enemy fan per se like i'm not familiar with a whole lot of their albums and a whole lot of their songs and all that so i would like to know what you guys think especially if you are a fan of arch enemy if you've been listening to them for a while, I'd like to hear your thoughts and opinions on House of Mirrors. So leave a comment below letting me know what you thought and what you would rate it. And if you haven't listened to it yet, I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. 
Go ahead, click on it, give it a listen. It is an absolutely great song and let me know what you would rate it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. While you're down there, let me know what you thought of House of Mirrors. Also, let me know what I should review next. And if you want to help support me and my channel, you don't want to miss out on any of my future stuff, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon. Doing any of that stuff helps me out tremendously. Even if you don't do anything other than just watch my video, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to listen to me talk. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night. Whenever you happen to be watching this, and I will talk to you guys next time. I was